In this video, I'll show you how to create a blog in AutoCAD from scratch. In case you're not familiar with the blogs, this video will help you know a little bit about them. But just in case, I'll leave you a link where I talk about the blogs and go over all the benefits of them. My name is Jay and I'm the founder of JCAD. I make AutoCAD tutorials on YouTube and I focus on AutoCAD for Mac. Let's get into it. So I already have a drawing open here. It's just an empty drawing, essentially. I'll modify a few settings before we jump into it. The only thing I want to change is basically the units to set it up to architectural, so that way AutoCAD understand inches and feet. And now we're gonna start, uh, we're gonna start basically, I do wanna create two blocks, essentially. I do wanna create a block. Uh, I'm sorry, I wanna create a table and then I wanna create a chair with it. So I'm thinking of a dining table. So I'm thinking of a dining table and with a set of chairs, like maybe six or four, maybe we'll do both of them, but let's see. So I'm gonna start here in an empty area. I'm gonna click somewhere here and then I'm gonna do the table, for example, um, let's say five feet, okay? So I type that, and then I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and then here I'm gonna make it three feet deep. Okay, and then here, let's do another five feet. Okay, like this, All right? And I'm just gonna move it a little bit from the zero, zero point. Now, this table, let's say I wanna, now I can obviously just use this polyline as a table, but I do wanna detail it a little bit more. I do wanna have round edges basically. So I'm gonna use the fillet command, okay? And then the fillet command, I just need to set the radius. So I'm gonna say, for example, six inches is the radius. So I'm gonna do right here, and then I'm gonna hit return to restart the command. Okay, and then another one, and then another one right here. Okay, I do also wanna offset it. So I will do an offset for two inches, just to add a little bit like more detail to it. Uh, maybe this is not the nicest one, but let's see. Let's do a line here in the middle, and then maybe I'll move it up by two inches and then I'll mirror it again. Okay, so let's say this is our table and this is what we want uh, to make into a block. Now I'm looking at this as a floor plan, of course, from a floor plan view. Um, so basically the way to make it a block is you wanna select all the elements we drew, okay? And then we're gonna type B to start the block command. Okay, this, okay, it's right here. And then we're gonna name this, so I'm gonna call this J Tining table okay now from this window there are multiple settings um, that you can do but basically i would like you to focus i think like what you really should focus on is just the name and also the base point where it says right here so the base point acts as the point where you control the block and i will show you that in a second i'll click on it right now and i will choose the base point to be for example from the middle point of this side and i'm going to click that and then we're back to this window uh, the rest of the the rest of the commands or the options, we're not going to do anything with it. You can leave them as is, and then we're going to click on create block. Okay, so now this is created. So I'm going to select it to highlight it, and boom, not anymore. Like everything became into a single block, and now we have the base point that we chose now acts as like a control point. So from this point, I can basically move it. Of course, you can use the move command and select from this point to move it to the left. But basically, this point acts as the control point. The next thing I want to do is actually do a chair. So for the chairs, I'm also going to use the polyline. I'm going to do, for example, two feet by two feet. Now, this is too, apparently too big. So let's do maybe, let's do 18 inches. Maybe I did the table uh, a little too small. We will modify it. That's not a, that's not a problem. Okay. And then we're going to do this. Yeah, this is definitely, this table is definitely small. We need to make it bigger. Okay. So now we have this. So the chair, I did 18 by 18. I do want to push this to the inside, maybe by one inch. And then this side right here by one inch. And then I'm going to do a polyline. I'm going to do two inch back. And then I'm going to come back here like this. And then I'm going to close it. I'm thinking if I should add additional detail to it. Um, Maybe let's do something like this. I'll just round actually the front. So I will use the fillet command and then I'll switch the radius to only one inch. Okay. 
like this. Maybe one inch is a little too small and not visible. So I will start the fillet command again, and then I will type R to access the radius immediately. And then from here, I'll do two inches. Click here, this one, and then this. Okay, and I think this is pretty good enough. So this, we're gonna make this chair into a block now. So I will also select it. I'll select all the objects, I'll type B, and then I'll call this one J chair. And then the base point, I will pick point. I will choose the back this time, right here. And then I'm gonna say create a block. And now we have our chair block. Now the table, I do wanna edit it so that way we can make it a little bit bigger. So I will do B, E. This, this is the shortcut I'm gonna use, which basically uh, is the block edit command. So the table, I'm just gonna basically stretch it by three more feet. So I'm gonna do 36. And then I'm just gonna stretch it up by six inches from that side and then six inches from the bottom, okay? And then I'm just gonna click save here and then we're gonna close. Okay, so now this table is much bigger and I think for a six seater, this will do much better. So now we can push the chair a little bit like two inches to the back and then I'm gonna mirror it. Actually, before I mirror it, let's copy it. Let's make a copy to the right. So let's copy it to the right by two feet and to the left by two feet. And then here we will select all of these guys and basically mirror them to the other side. So now we have this, um, this basically this table and these chairs. Now we can block all of them again and make even uh, a block that contains multiple blocks within that block. Now this can get really complicated very quickly. So you always want to try to simplify the blocks and how you do them. But basically we can just, select all of these guys and I'm going to place them in one of my projects so I can reuse them and take the benefit of having blocks. So I will copy them. I will do command C and then I already have here a project. I was planning to place it in the dining space because I was missing a table here. So I'm going to click here. Okay. So now I have that. Then I'll move this, this, and then basically once I have this, now I'll switch the layer to furniture. And boom, I have the dining set basically in this space and I was able to save time with it. But now, like I mentioned, if you notice, I do wanna mention one thing about the layering. You notice when we switch the layer of this block to furniture, it automatically got assigned uh, this layer with this color. Um, the way to do that is you wanna make sure when, we, when you're creating the block, you're placing all the objects on the zero layer. If you use a different layer, they will not automatically switch to the layer that you will assign the block later on, okay? This block I created in an empty drawing over here. But let's say now we make this half the size, okay? So I'm gonna go to block edit again, and then I'm gonna go down by three feet to bring it back to how it was originally, and I'm gonna save and close, and then we're gonna lose these two chairs, and then we're gonna keep these guys, and then move them to the left by six inches, for example. Okay, so now I have this set. So now that I did the block edit here, um, this doesn't affect the table that we have here, this block right here, okay? Even though we changed it here, it doesn't transfer to this one. So if you wanna change it within your, pro if you do any changes to your block within your project, it's not gonna update the original one that you created. And even if you now copy this and place it within the project, it's gonna come out at the right size. I'm gonna do V and here you go. It's actually AutoCAD will recognize how it is in this drawing. So if you wanna create a different version, you might wanna call this one something different, like rename the block, or you explode it and you create a new one and you give it a different size. I will be creating more tutorials to go over blocks in AutoCAD and I'll leave you a link at the top so you can check out the playlist. If this video helped you today, please like and subscribe and thank you for watching.